Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my February empties. I have my box right here actually. I need to do this video because it is only the first week of March and I already have a ton of empties to fill this bin back up with. So um, here's a little sneak peek of last month, but let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm gonna start off with some wax because I've been really focusing on using up a lot of my wax because I just wanna do like a spring summer haul of wax. So um, I did finish off two Scentsy bars, one in Silver Bells. This one was really nice and like minty and it, honestly it smelled a little bit like Sprite to me. Like it had like a bubbly kind of like drink scent, but it was really, really nice. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And then I also finished off uh, Graham Cracker Crunch. This one was so good. I wish they did not discontinue this one. It was absolutely amazing. Like the best bakery scent. And then I finished off a Sonoma Fresh Morning Donuts that I got from Kohl's, which was on sale when I got it. And this one was really good. It just smelled like donuts. It was nothing special. I wouldn't say it was like a powerhouse or anything, but it was good. I would still pick up Sonoma Wax if it was on sale. And then I finished off with three candles. The first one is Peppermint Hot Chocolate. This one was so good. Um, honestly, one of my new favorites for winter time. The scent notes are cool peppermint, silky milk chocolate, and sweet cream. It was so yummy. Mm. Oh, it was so good. It was basically the peppermint from Peppermint Marshmallow mixed with hot cocoa and cream. It was so yummy. I hope they bring it back. Uh, I hope they bring it back year after year because this is honestly one of my new favorites. It was so good, especially for the time of year because it was still chilly and it was just amazing. Next one I have is a peppermint sugar cookie. This one was also amazing. I had this one going in my living room for, uh, I don't know, maybe like four or five weeks and I was just continually burning it and it was like the best thing for like that living space because our living room kitchen and dining room is like all connected in one floor it's open concept and it just like wafted throughout and it was amazing the best scent scent notes are crushed peppermint vanilla extract creamy butter and soft sugar cookies it was like the perfect amount of like fresh with the peppermint and gourmand with the sugar cookie just an amazing scent <laughs> it's so good and then the last candle that I finished off is Pumpkin Bonfire. Scent notes are white pumpkin, a bundle of clove buds, and glowing embers. This one I would say I really need to focus more on finishing my fall candles in fall um, because I wasn't like feeling this near the end, um, but it is a really good scent. I actually loved that it was like kind of smoky near the end too because I think it, yeah, it has glowing embers in the scent notes. It honestly is such a good, good scent. But um, just next time, if I do end up getting it again, I need to finish it off in fall because I was getting a little sick of it. Okay, I have a few plugins. Um, we do have like an Airwick plugin just like around the house. I think we have like three or four of them. For reference, I live in a three-story townhome, so each floor gets its own scent. Um, but this is just like the laundry scent. We just get like the pack from Costco and fill them up. Um, and then this wallflower was in the bathroom and let's see what it was. I think this was like clean linen, I wanna say, like some sort of laundry scent. And then I just put in smoked vanilla, which smoked vanilla is toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla and crystallized amber. And this is actually, somebody told me it's marshmallow fireside, which yes, can confirm whenever I plugged it in, it smelled exactly like marshmallow fireside kind of crazy. Um, so I think they brought back um, Marshmallow Fireside for like non-seasonal times as smoked vanilla. So if you are looking for that scent and you love it, I think they're just gonna have that continuously now instead of only in the fall. So good for you if you like that scent. And I did finish off two car plugins. First one, Pumpkin Cupcake, I believe was in Ryan's car. And I finished off this one, even though it has like a bunch of liquid left, I couldn't smell it anymore. Pumpkin pecan waffles, I want to say. Something super gourmand. And then I finished off one single pocket back in Vanilla Bean Noel. And I actually have a lot of body care, so I'm gonna save that for last, but I finished off this lip balm from Jack Black. I really do like this lip balm. I have another one at my bedside table. 
and it's just honestly so good. I just have the Shea Butter one, but the mint one is really good too. Highly recommend for like a nighttime or just like intense lip balm. For body care, I'm just gonna bring the basket over here because it's a lot. Um, the first thing is the Onyx Bathhouse Stay Toasty Foaming Body Scrub in Toasted Marshmallow. This one was really good. I am obsessed with the texture of these Onyx Bathhouse um, scrubs. They have them seasonally and they have them just like all times of year at TJ Maxx. I got mine, well, I don't have the tag still on it, but I believe it was like $7.99. Really good price for this giant jar. Um, this lasted me maybe four months because it's super coarse. So I couldn't use it every day. I maybe used it like twice a week and I would really just use it right before I shaved to really exfoliate off all the dead skin and it was so amazing. The scent was nothing to like brag about, but the texture alone is worth it. The scent was just like, just a regular sugary scent, but really, really good. Highly recommend these. If you go to your local like TJ Maxx or Marshalls, they definitely will have some there. Next thing I finished off is a full-size shower gel in white pumpkin and chai. Super excited to have finished off a full-size shower gel. Um, I did have this in a project use it up. You can see the progress lines and just like a really good scent. Um, again, I need to work on using up my fall scents during fall because this one took me, I think this is actually like an older, yeah, this is from 2020 fall. So I think I saved it though because I was scared it wouldn't come back, but it did come back. So um, scent notes are cinnamon cider, spiced pumpkin and vanilla glaze. I want to smell it again because I just really want to smell fall right now. Mm, it was so good. Honestly, a really great, just like spice cider scent. Amazing. So finished that one off. And then I have some minis here. Oh no, wait, I have one more full size. I did finish off the coconut mint drop body cream. And this scent is so good. I'm so sad they did not bring it back this year. This is actually from 2020. Um, the scent notes are white coconut, iced peppermint, and winter musk. Mm, this scent is so relaxing. I still have it in the body spray. Um, but I wanted to finish off everything else before it went bad. So I did finish off this scent, but it is so amazing. I really hope they bring it back out next year. If not, I'm gonna have to go on Mercari and get like maybe the lotion or the shower gel in this because it's so good. It's just like the perfect scent for the um, winter time. It was so good. Okay, I did finish off two hand creams and yes, I cut open my hand creams too. If you aren't cutting open your tube products, you need to because there's so many more uses in them. The first one I finished off is Sweet Whiskey, which this one was nice. Honestly, it just smelled like hand cream. It didn't smell like anything crazy, but it wasn't overpowering, so I actually really enjoyed it. And then I did finish off Merry Cookie from the wintertime. Really good scent, just super sweet and gourmand. And I love, love, love Bath & Body Works hand creams. The last thing that I finished off for the month of February is the Hot Cocoa and Cream Body Cream. I loved this packaging, it was so cute. And this scent is really good. I've been loving that they came out with it two years in a row in a mini because I never got to try this when it came out in a full size, but I really enjoy the mini and I think I could only take it in a mini form because I think using this for too long, I'd get sick of it, but using it for like the two or three weeks that this lasted me was really nice. It smells so good. It really just smells like the hot cocoa and cream candle. Amazing, outstanding, 10 out of 10. So that's everything for today's empties video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I did finish off a lot. I'm happy that I'm continually finishing off full size body care and like multiple candles a month. I think I'm at regularly like three candles a month I'm finishing. So that's really good. Um, this upcoming month, I'm gonna be really focusing on downsizing my wax collection so I can do a big wax haul. And I did actually purchase a few candles online the other day. So when those come in the mail, I will be doing a haul. But yeah, that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below what you're working on finishing off, like I guess before the springtime. Honestly, it's like spring weather here already, but let me know what you're focusing on finishing off and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.